let's talk about the otter shrew. This is the otter shrew, and contrary to its name, it is neither an otter or a shrew. It is most closely related to the tenrex of Madagascar, but not super closely related, and tenrex are also their own weird little group. The otter shrew is classified as being semi-aquatic, meaning it spends a lot of its life in or around the water. It spends the majority of its time in or around different rivers and streams in Central Africa, living in countries like the Democratic Republic of the Congo, as well as Cameroon, Gabon, and a couple other places. These guys are carnivorous, eating mainly fish and crustaceans and mollusks, such as crabs and snails and things like that. They're typically very solitary, occupying a large territory and only really coming in contact with each other during the mating season where males will travel in search of a female and then leave, leaving the female to raise the babies on her own. Now these guys are actually incredibly hard to study. They do very, very poorly in captivity. Most captive specimens have lived for less than a month in captivity, so they're really not kept in captivity ever because they just do so bad. It's not really known exactly why they do so poorly in captivity, and we don't really want to study that to find out because we don't want them to die in captivity. So researchers have to go out into the remote and sometimes very hostile areas of the African wilderness to go find these guys because they don't like living around humans or other settlements very much either. So all of that makes the otter shrew quite a difficult thing to study and then make sense of.